My name is Jurfi Silard, the owner of BlueFX.net. Today I will show you a couple of uh, quick workflow tips. Uh, it is essential to know the shortcuts that uh, can save you a lot of work and time. Yeah, I know, shortcuts, boring stuff. Hey, but stay with me, you'll see just how, uh, how useful these can be. So we'll cover editing, working with uh, keyframes and navigation. There are many shortcuts inside of uh, After Effects, but uh, my goal is to show you only the ones that I personally, personally use in my daily work. So have you ever tried editing video inside of After Effects? <laughs> I know, I have. So uh, let me show you how, how you can do that fast. So I made a composition here called editing and uh, I will drag a video in. Okay. Uh, first you see that the video is uh, larger than my composition. So what I can do to fix this is uh, you can drag it like this and uh, maybe hold down shift to keep the aspect ratio the same but it's not really precise and uh, kind of time consuming if you have many videos to work on so first uh, first shortcut hold down control select this layer hold down control alt and F okay so let me show you again what it does select it I hold Ctrl, Alt and F. This will fit uh, the video to the composition. Okay, now uh, let's let's see. I would like to go to uh, um, here when when uh, when she when she starts smiling. So again, I can drag. Uh, the current time indicator like this dragging along trying to find the exact spot or I can use a shortcut so if you uh, push page down and page up it the uh, time indicator the current time indicator will jump one frame if you ahead if you push page down okay it will go frame by frame if you pay, push page up then it will go in the opposite direction. Now, if you would like to jump uh, not just one single frame, but 10 frames, you can hold down shift and pe press page up or page down, like this. Okay, now we're jumping 10 frames at a time. Okay, so let's uh, let me select a good, good place. Uh, okay. Here, I would like to make an edit to, to cut the video in half. Now, how can you do that? You could go to the end point and uh, trying to trim the layer like this, but uh, if you have a video that's, let's say, half an hour in length, you have a lot of space to cover here. <laughs> so. Uh, there's a cool sh shortcut to make stream it in half to split it. So, so put the time indicator where you want the split to happen here. Uh, hold down Control Shift and press D. Okay, it splits it in half. Oh, it's uh, easy to remember uh, because. Uh, you know the shortcut control D, control double, it uh, makes it doubles the layer. Okay, and uh, if you uh, hold down control shift and D, it, uh, it cuts it in half. So control D doubles, control shift D splits it in half. Now um, let's see some other key, some other keyboard shortcuts. Um, when you when you would like to make a transition, let's say I want to fade this uh, this part of the video into the layer underneath it, 
uh, what what do you do so uh, you need to go to the in point to the beginning of the layer now you can uh, drag it like this but as I said if you have a long uh, video long layer then um, it's quite difficult to get fast to its in point so here's a shortcut for the in point you press I and, uh, and for the out point uh, you simply press O okay in point I out point O okay simple but uh, very effective okay moving on um, so let's see uh, working with uh, keyframes and layers so here I have uh, another composition with a couple of uh, videos okay let's see the the first video now I'm sure you know this key keyboard shortcut it's the it's the U key when you press U like this then uh, all of the all the um, keyframes show up now uh, it's called the Uber key as far as I know <laughs> if you uh, press it again uh, all of them disappear so this can be quite useful okay um, we have uh, we have these keyframes here this is a this is a, a bloom effect on, on the video you see um, I would like to make this happen a little bit faster but uh, okay I can drag this this uh, in this keyframe like this okay I can drag it but if I really want to be precise and move I want to move it just three frames now how can I do that uh, the easy way is uh, if you use this shortcut uh, select the keyframe hold down alt and press uh, the left or right um, arrow keys directional arrow keys so I'm holding down the alt key and pressing uh, the right arrow key okay it moves one frame one two and three okay it's in perfect position again if you want to move it back same thing if you would like to move it uh, 10 frames then hold down alt and shift and uh, press the directional keys okay you can see how it moves great um, here is another short key keyboard uh, shortcut um, you have seen that uh, for example on this on this layer I have a bunch of uh, effects and uh, expressions here and uh, how could I select only the expressions if I would like to see only the expressions okay let's hit you everything is hidden and uh, for the expressions you hit the the E key uh, two times so a a okay here you can see it we only see the expressions here not the actual keyframe uh, exact keyframes um, okay let's hide them with the with the U okay um, here's another thing I have here a lot of videos video layers uh, I would like to see every video layer here except this one uh, every video layer here has uh, has this uh, bloom effect this is composed out of many other effects with uh, with a couple of expressions okay um, but I would like to synchronize them so that uh, the bloom happens at the same time on all uh, all of the layers how, I can, how can I do that it's quite difficult because if I try to select the key keyframes go up 
uh, have to move it. Mm, it it can be difficult because of the expressions and the other effects. So what what do you do? You select the effect that you are interested in and uh, push the SS uh, key. So S two times. One two. Okay. Now we only see that uh, particular effect and only those keyword keyframes. Okay. Let's do it again. Great. Now it's much easier to put them side by side. I'm holding down the shift, holding down shift while dragging and uh, the keyframes you see they stick in, in this position, they, they align automatically. Okay, uh, I'm sure you know this key sh short uh, keyboard shortcut, Control A, Control R, selects all of the layers and uh, if you like to deselect all the layers you push F, F2, sorry, so uh, F2 for deselecting the layers. This is quite uh, quite useful when you are. Uh, it's hard to deselect something when you, when you are like this with with only the mouse. So uh, remember this F two when you want to deselect everything. Okay. Uh, let's see. I have a video here, and I would like to move it up. Now, um, if I have everything open. Control A, selecting all, hitting the Uber key, the U key, okay, twice. Now I have every parameter, every effect uh, open here, but uh, I'm hitting the F F2 to deselect everything. Uh, but now I would like, I like to have this uh, video on top. And how can I do this? Well, I can start dragging like this and uh, dragging and waiting and dragging or I can use a quick short, uh, keyboard shortcut select this layer and uh, hold down control alt and pu push the up or down arrows so if, if you push the up arrow direction arrow it, it uh, goes up one uh, one layer position okay in the, in the stacking of the it goes up with uh, on top of the other videos so yeah, this this is again really useful when you have a lot of layers you see